Are we looking at the beginning of the end of the fossil fuel era as a result of Paris? There are different fossil fuels. There are different carbon footprints for fossil fuels. There's different efficiencies that can be found. Um, Paris provides an aspiration and a framework around that. The market will determine which fuels are advantaged, which are disadvantaged, and what the pace of that transition ultimately is. You know, it's a pretty key decision for oil-based economies especially, mm -hmm. who have been going through transitions over the last year because of the price. Yep. You know Canada is one of those oil-based economies, at least you know, a significant portion of the economy. How should those economies be looking at, at what's occurring here? Well, look, I uh, say a couple of things about oil in Canada. I mean, that I wouldn't underestimate the ingenuity of, of Canadian researchers, Canadian companies, and the drive of Canadian uh, professionals to address a different price environment. It also will increasingly be deployed to much more carbon efficient fuels and mechanisms, whether it's extraction in the oil sands or ultimately alternative fuels. So you, you wouldn't write off the future of say the oil sands as a result of the double whammy of pri you know, pricing and, and the yeah, post-Paris future. What countries such as Canada need to think about is how does the North, Canadian, North American and ultimately global fuel mix potentially change over time and what is the most efficient and effective way to use in, in Canada's terms, you know, absolutely immense energy resources which run the gamut from um, from hydro to coal and increasingly um, through, uh, through innovation uh, renewables.